Okay, let's get this thing fired up. This is the character Dana. All right, room one. Attempt number one, starting up. Don't die in room one. All right, we can't let that happen. That's the only guy that could have killed me. So, fortunately, uh... <laughs> that guy didn't get me in uh, board one. That item that I just got, or I uh, just got there, is a fireball. And you can see on the upper right-hand side, there's this little scroll, and this item here you could change into different items. I uh, just changed into a vase and got another one. So now on the upper right you'll see three, three little ball figures. Um, I can shoot fireballs now. And as you see from the objective, one of my objectives is to get the highest game deviation value. And what's incredibly important is this uh, collection of uh, fairies, and now I have two. Uh, from my experience with this game, you need, I think, what totals a good 150 of them. <laughs> um, you have to get, do some other things in addition to it, but that's a very important ingredient with getting uh, this highest possible game deviation value of an 84. So, I just fired off a fireball there. It's not necessary, but if I got another one right there, uh, it just wouldn't have gone towards anything to hustle here and this is this is a bit tricky because this is the first time I'm really <laughs> trying to provide commentary while playing so yeah the objective as we're seeing here is quite simple to get the key which unlocks the door and then simply get in the door so so far so good that's uh, two two rooms down but uh, yeah it gets tougher uh, here's another thing to note. This is one enemy that will occasionally drop a bell, and bells convert into fairies. Uh, when you run into a bell, it'll produce a fairy from the door, whether it's locked or unlocked. And uh, I'll, I'll look to track down that fairy soon enough. So right now I have a total of three fairies. Uh, as soon as I hit ten, it will give me an extra life, and then it will reset to zero. So yeah, just uh, that's another enemy here, the guy that's uh, spitting fire. He's another one that'll occasionally drop a bell, and so far this is, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, I nearly died on board three. Oh, I gotta stop talking. This is terrible. That's not a good start. If I have to go, <laughs> if I have to go, uh, 64 boards. Uh, with the hidden uh, the hidden boards and the 49 main ones. Oh my goodness, that would have been terrible. <laughs> I'm too I'm too nervous. Uh, I was getting excited about talking about the bells. Just shut up and play. How about that? Watch you don't get killed, Dana. <laughs> All right, let's uh, use the uh, kill the two birds with one stone technique. There, there we go. One of those items I just got was a scroll, and that expands my uh, that top right. So now I could actually get... Let me focus here. Oh, actually, one of the buttons is actually sticking on the controller. That's not cool. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna be... Uh, that's not going to be cool for later on in the boards. So that, that, that's going to be my future excuse. Oh, it was the controller. <laughs> Uh, but I, what I was trying to say is that now I have um, an additional slot open where I can get uh, another fireball. So, so far I have two. I have room for two more. Uh, also, there's certain enemies on these boards where if you kill them, like that guy right there, like I did uh, with the block where he goes on the block and then you break it, Certain ones will drop a fairy. I'm aware of um, every enemy that does that, so I'm trying to do that in certain boards. And I'm just killing these guys. Sometimes they give you an extra life. I'm not going to need that stuff, but I'm, I'm doing it more for... Uh, sometimes they drop a scroll, and it's nice to have an, ad an additional spot open to get uh, more fireballs. You can have up to uh, eight fireballs. This is... Uh, 
This is what one might call a fun board. And uh, <laughs> if your objective is to get an 84, you really have to hustle in boards like this. And I'm going to try and clear them out as fast as possible. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of items. There's bells. And you have to be uh, also a bit disciplined with how you break the bricks and not be so quick to run into them like that right there. That item, when I get it, it will reset my time to 5,000. So if I'm to get it now, it would not benefit me, in other words. And that item will actually double my time, but actually decrease the rate at which my time goes away. So, the order in which I want to get those two items is first that gold one, and then the gray one is the short summary. So, I'm going to have to hustle. That's one of the bells. And this item here is one you can convert into a bell. These are all very important details. Uh, if you're familiar with the game and this game deviation value, also, the, t the sound change that you're hearing right now is telling me to hurry up. And I better hurry up, actually, and make sure I get this timer before my time runs out. <laughs> okay. That's always a very scary sound, hearing that timer. And uh, my computer actually just froze up. So those, those are not good things that just happened this early. First, my controller sticking and uh, my computer freezing up a little bit not cool <laughs> it's not to, it's not giving me much confidence uh, I haven't referenced the score on the top left but uh, that really won't factor in at all really with getting the highest game deviation value I'll still be trying to get as high a score as possible but that's not really so important I'll try and kill these guys and uh, they're, so far, um, many of these enemies are being very friendly to me in that they're giving me bells. Um, yeah. Also, these fairies can be quite annoying. <laughs> they could get in your way. You might need to put a brick or a block in a, a certain spot. And, yeah, they could get in your way. This is one of those characters that will drop a fairy. Let's not get killed with the fireball. So this is uh, what I would identify, I said this in, in the video earlier, this is what I would identify as a strategic approach to beating this particular puzzle, this room, where you're kind of just working one side, it's slow, you're killing these, these uh, enemies one by one, and uh, you're not really risking so much. The other approach is to go right up the gut, right up the middle, and just be a, a brick building maniac building left, right, bottom, you know, for both sides. But uh, it's a lot of effort and it's riskier. All right, so let's see here. That's a super fireball. When shot, it can kill multiple enemies, as we will soon see. All right, and let's make sure the timing is right here. There we go. It's actually my biggest my biggest concern is my computer acting up and my controller sticking. So <laughs> and so and and I nearly got killed without those two things happening also. So This guy's going to try to kill you as soon as you're on his level. He runs at you like a maniac and tries to bop you, kill you. So all right. So far so good. This is room 7. Very complicated. Uh, many eyeball enemies. That's what they look like. I think they're called sparks. Uh, my objective is basically to hunt them down and trap them, just so they're not going to be around to hurt me, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed on many of these uh, statements I'm making. So, yeah, let's give some direction. Uh, not so good with giving direction to that guy, so I'm going to have to uh, improvise a little bit. Yeah. So I normally don't go about uh, approaching this room in this way, at least with that left section. But uh, this right section, I, 
I do play like this. Um, basically, what I just did right there is provide a little gap for them to go right through. And hopefully when I return to that section... Uh, let's make sure this guy doesn't kill me. And also, let's not forget about the time. Yeah, but hopefully these guys will clear out very soon. And again, all these little items I'm trying to uh, trying to get. Okay, at least I've sectioned off those two. Let's hunt this guy down, because he's one of them that'll drop a fairy. <clears throat> there we go. He's sectioned off. There's only one guy. Let's drop down here and make sure these guys from the bottom don't come up and bother me. There's only one guy up top here that could maybe cause me a headache. Uh, this item right here is one that I will simply reveal but not get. That. Just called Gold Wings. If I'm to get that item, it'll propel me six levels ahead. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to get them. This item, however, I do want to get. Because my time was low. <laughs> Alright, last thing to do is grab this fairy, who sometimes gives you a problem. They're a bit random with how they move. They have a tendency to move towards you, but they could be annoying. Like, I don't want to just drop down just yet, because it might juke me. <laughs> I don't want to be juked. Get over here. There you go. Finally. Alright, so far, so good. Yeah, don't get flagged. I'm seeing that in the chat there. And I have to remember to uh, stay focused on certain boards. Right at the beginning, there's some wild wild enemies that will come right at you. There's some it hidden items here on this board. And it's the way I want to approach this board here is very important. I don't want to disrupt the the pattern at which these ghosts are going. So I want to be very delicate with how I place the blocks. <laughs> I may need to do that from time to time, just shut up and concentrate. So, there we go. Hopefully by the end of this, working on the left side, I have not disrupted those ghosts too bad. And I'm doing this and putting those a little bit together like that so that I could time this drop a little bit better. I think right around here should be good. There we go. Get all those items right down the middle. And then there's some other hidden items on this right-hand side. Also, if you didn't know, uh, this is one of the games where the up button, the way I'm able to jump up is by pressing up on the D-pad. It isn't a button that I'm hitting. So, that for some players, uh, takes some getting used to. And I got all the items for this board, and we're set to go through the door. Alright, so far so good. This is one of those hidden rooms. There'll be, uh, about ten of these. Let's try to go a little faster in this one. The last one, I was cutting it too close. So I really need to hurry in this one. See, the button just was sticking right there. <laughs> I don't have a good feeling. I don't have a good feeling. So far, so good. Sort of. A near-death experience on board three. <laughs> good grief. <laughs> oh, that would have been awful. That would have been awful. Yeah, this guy, he's going to do a full run, right? In one life? He nearly dies on room three. Well done. You're a grandmaster at this one, buddy. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So far I'm making good pace. Well, let's not get that too quick. I don't think I could make it down all the way and get the key and then come back up and get that in time. We're gonna give it a shot though. My time's gonna... As soon as it gets to 2000 life, the music changes. Like that. And I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going <laughs> to make sure uh, I get up here as soon as possible. Normally I would wait a little bit more, but it's a bit nerve-wracking, uh, to be perfectly honest, to be playing 
with uh, an audience. <laughs> oh, okay. So I got the order correct. And I think I got everything. The very perimeter of these rooms are, uh, they never reveal any hidden items or anything, so that's why I'm not clearing any of them out. Okay, this board here, if you see where the key is positioned, you'll know that uh, once you drop inside there, that fire, you definitely need to take care of that fire. That's why I, I drop the fire and then make sure to build a brick right over it. So you have to anticipate, you have to do some calculation here, clearly. Uh, this guy here, I'm going to take him out. Hopefully he drops a bell. He does drop a bell. And I have to be quick here. This is not a good moment to have my controller or computer freeze up, because you have to be quick. <laughs> and this is really just the, the beginning of it. That's an important item. That's uh, a seal. There will be, I think, eight of them throughout the whole uh, game. And they're especially important to get this number 84. This game deviation value... Okay, I have to shut up. Hang on. This is one of those boards where if you don't act fast, those guys will simply kill you. Okay. So I'm on higher ground now. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, that game deviation value basically represents how well you've completed the game. Uh, number represents, you know, how well did you complete the game? 84 is considered right up there, top, so that's what I'm gunning for. Also, that brick where I put it, um, it was very important that I put that brick there before I dropped that fire. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't really be able to get up to where I am right now. <laughs> All these little details. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm having to just execute before I could really explain why I'm doing what I'm doing because you have to hustle. Now this guy here, I'm gonna jump just in case <laughs> because there are sometimes glitches where the fire can go right through the brick. And I have to shut up right here. And do a timely break of that brick. He's one of those characters that will drop a fairy, which is important. So this one is now all clear. Room 10 is complete. Okay. This one looks ridiculous when you notice where the, the key is. Let's make sure I trap that guy. And this super fast one, like so. Also... I have to build two bricks like that, otherwise you're not even going to be able to get crossing here. Where that black thing is, you cannot build a brick where that is. Alright. So that part is over and done with. Let's grab this guy. This. That doubles my time, but the speed at which my time goes away is doubled. Also, these uh, bricks right there, I had them disjointed, so that when I release those guys, they don't wrap around and kill me. That went a lot smoother than I, uh, than, than is usually the case. Okay. Room 12. This one shouldn't be too bad. What I was just trying to say is I can't recall the last time I died on this room. <laughs> That's a wonderful way to jinx yourself. You're going to want to stay away from that comment. Okay, let's drop this guy. This is actually the first board where you're introduced to these enemies, which are absolute monsters. They're, uh, they're, they're called salamanders, and okay, that's a super fireball that I'm not going to get. Um, I'll only use one super fireball in the game, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to get that. I, I want to keep these small fireballs to kill just one specific enemy at a time. But, uh, yeah, what I was going to say about these enemies, how they work, they continue to spawn, for one. And they move in the direction... Uh, it, they move in the direction that is dependent on your location. So right now they're going to move left when they drop, because I'm left. So that's how it works with them. And that brick that I built under them, 
I did that so I could play over here and not have to worry about them coming my direction. You're going to see a lot more of them. In fact, uh, some of the most difficult boards, board 43 and 46, sure enough, those enemies are there and they give you a problem. So, all right. Another one of these hidden boards. So I'm racking up a lot of lives. Um, that's not uh, that's not so important. I think I mean you start out with three lives, and with a successful run, you should end up somewhere around uh, low 30s. <clears throat> okay. So that's the last enemy that could kill me. The only thing that could kill me now is my time. If it runs out, I'm dead. So I still need to hustle. And also be disciplined with how I'm breaking these bricks. Because there is still a timer in that gray bottle thing that I have to reveal. Those same items will appear in every one of these boards. Okay, I don't want to get that just yet. Don't run into that gray bottle. Got the key. It might be here. Nope. Okay, my time is running short. Don't get that just yet. Hurry up and get this timer, which will set my time to 5,000. Now we can get that. Okay. I'm only doing that, by the way, just because uh, another thing is whatever life is remaining or whatever time is remaining, that gets added to your score. Okay, room 13. You got some of these salamanders that immediately drop down. So you can imagine when first playing a board like this, you probably get killed quite a bit. That item right there, I'll avoid getting. What it basically will do is turn your leftmost small fireball into a large fireball but I don't want to I don't want any large fireballs so this method right here is one that will be used in future boards uh, the one that I'm thinking of offhand right now is room 25 where you use this method to basically shoot right up the gut to make that timing here and also make sure that guy is dealt with and now how exactly to get the key in this one without using any fireball or super fireball. Uh, there's many approaches to doing it. This is my approach here, which is to construct. Uh, this is how I remember to do it. I basically construct a number seven where there aren't any blocks. And I think I may have screwed up, actually. I think I messed up the timing. Hopefully I can get this. Go, 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 go. Oh, I messed that up. Uh, that's a way to trap them. I think I, I break the one brick not at the correct time, and it, it could have been difficult to place a timely block and trap them like I just did. Fortunately, it worked out, but <laughs> that was uh, that was actually close. A lot of close calls very early on. It's not uh, not looking too well. Let's make sure that ghost doesn't kill me. I'll, I'll wait this one out a little bit. So for right now, I don't have any more room for fireballs. So I'm going to take care of this guy. That was probably too close a call. And uh, this guy below, I'm going to take him out as well. Because there are two fireballs you could get right here. You just have to do a little move like that. Which is maybe an advanced move. <laughs> where you're on the brick, on the block, and then uh, you could actually break the block that you're standing on. My time's running out. All I want to do is get this fairy. Come on, man. Let's go, man. I'm running out of time. You kidding me? Did I get it? <gasps> I might not have gotten it, but uh, so that, uh, that'll be fine because of uh, how generous some of the other, other uh, enemies have been to me with dropping bells. So there shouldn't be too much of a worry with that. I think I'll be able to collect enough fairies. I think the main thing will be to uh, make sure I uh, get all the other fairies. 
and these other seals, those other black items. So this board here, we start out, where is the key exactly? It's hidden. It's one of the boards where you start out and you just absolutely, you have to do a lot of guessing and testing. You're not quite sure where the key is. But uh, I know where it is. I'll soon be tracking it down. So I'm going to be working down here first and then get to the left side. <clears throat> Timing my jump. Make sure that guy in the middle doesn't kill me. And time is never really an issue with uh, this board. There's there's two blue timers. I didn't uh, reference that yet. <clears throat> this blue timer right here resets your time back to 10,000. So really good. And you can guess where the key is. This is the one brick you can't break with your head. That's where the key is. And just to be safe, I want to make sure that these guys that are spawning drop completely out of the way. <clears throat> and then I can get into the door without a sweat. <laughs> Someone's saying that fairy was a real troll. Indeed. This one you have to hustle right from the beginning too, because this salamander, he's ready to drop down and hurt you. These uh, golden wings right here, this item, which I'm not going to get, they are on every eighth board. So this is room 15, <clears throat> the next one will be on 23, and then 31, 39, and then that's it. Alright. Let's just kill that guy. Because I have room to get another fireball. One, two, three, four, I have seven. Okay. Also, another thing. These things can bl uh, kill you with fire. Like, if you're too close, they will breathe fire on you. What I'm doing right now is only just... Uh, well, I messed up there. Oh, well. What I was trying to do is just get a little bit more on score, but uh, yeah, it didn't really work out. Let me just focus on making sure I get that fairy. And also, these two bricks are very important. I want to redirect those enemies so that they are now just not going to bother me anymore. There we go. And there's actually a hidden item right here, that timer. Okay, uh, yeah, so far so good, room 16, tricky, 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 I have to focus on this one, that fire is going to drop and kill me if I'm not careful, and I want to redirect this thing, and jump over here before that guy falls and kills me. <laughs> Okay. Also, this brick that I'm putting right here is important. Can you tell why? Oh, you know what? I messed up here. Let's get that out of the way. And drop down like this. Yeah, the brick that I placed just under the key, I'm doing that because when I get the key, I want to be able to be on a I want to be on ground and then be one jump away from getting in the door. Also, I have no room here to grab another fireball. That was a bad one. Let's just kill him. So I'll be able to get one more. Let's see here. To focus on certain parts, I could jump over now. Work my way over to this side. And there we go. Actually, that's not a good... Uh, Way to set the blocks. So I still need to get that bell. So it's a little bit tricky. Let's work over here. Break them so those guys don't uh, try and hurt me. Uh, I think my timing was off with that. Let's try it now. Okay, so that reset the time. All right. 
right, so those three bricks basically cleared the way, so once I get in this area, no enemy's gonna bother me, and because I put the brick right where it is right now, I'm able to just jump in the jump in the door. It saves me from having to wrap around again <clears throat> and get in the door. There are tricky salamanders instead. I see that in the chat. So here's another one of these boards here. That needs to be turned into a bell. Alright. Just have to hustle in this one. It's really the same story. <coughs> In every one of these boards, same, same mission to get all the items and be careful about the order in which you get certain items. Just work my way up the left and then drop down the right is my approach. Also, that brick right there usually contains something. Okay, it didn't this time, but the, the brick right above the door sometimes can will contain some items. I don't want to be so quick to break that particular one because I want to cross over to the right. Yeah, you know, whenever my time starts doing that, I'm just going to make a beeline straight for this item. I don't want to risk it. Alright, this board is clear. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. <clears throat> Room 17. This one looks super intimidating. A lot of redirection goes on in this one, and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff I need to do, as we will see. Any fans of Mighty Bomb Jack, the game Mighty Bomb Jack? There is an item in this one. Well, not an item, but uh, a little trick in this game where the character Mighty Bomb Jack is revealed. Okay, I want to cut off these enemies before they wrap around and come back up top. And I'm going to break this brick right here, just so that there's a gap for these two to go down. And before the uh, little eyeball can come up, you put a very important brick right here, which basically seals everything to the bottom. And this is what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is Mighty Bomb Jack. And when you get him, Good things happen. This. All the fire and enemies turn into fairies, which you have to collect for that magic number of 84. Very important. Also, this uh, trick is only available if you've made it this far without dying once. This is room 17. And also, my time is winding down. I still need to hurry because there are these other hidden items. Don't want to get that just yet. There's a hidden item up here. Get the key. And then... Get this timer just in time. And then this item here actually multiplies your time by five, but your time will go away at a rate of five times as fast. Okay, and that'll get tacked on to my score, which is quite low. Normally around this point, um, you could get up to about a, a million score. Also, let's make sure to get that bell. That bell, where it was just there, soon, with how these guys are spawning, Oh, I nearly got killed. I shouldn't have put a brick there. <laughs> oh, man. That was bad. I almost died again. Close calls. 
Close calls. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that where I got that bell early on, if you don't get it right away, you're just not going to get it at all because right now there's a fire that is in its place. <laughs> oh man, another near-death experience. Is it going to happen? I think it's going to. Three, four, five, drop down. Coast is clear. This is an enemy that when you drop him, he's going to give you a fairy. There you go. Get over here. Oh, scariness. <laughs> All right, I got everything. Let's get in the door. Let's get out of here. Hope Solomon. <laughs> oh, man. Room 19. This is a very complex one. Let's see. First order business, get the key and then build a block there so that those guys cannot drop down any further. Also, build a brick here so that they can't drop down. And now sit and wait, basically, for that salamander to go away. Then put a brick here. Here. Turn around and make sure you're facing left. Otherwise, the salamander will come down and kill you. <laughs> and now, what I just basically did there, the short story, is uh, build the bricks in a very precise location so that I don't have to deal with those little eyes trying to hunt me down. Especially if I'm trying to make my way up this right side along these, uh, let's say, the first, the two rightmost columns. Those eyeballs would have given me a big, big problem if I did not deal with them like I did in the early part. He drops a fairy. And let's get to higher ground before they get rid of those bricks and you can no longer rely upon them. Also, this little method right here that I'm using is one that will be employed at a later stage. Some higher rooms. Let me make sure I do not forget this item. I forgot that item many times, so I just track that down first. Here's some more hidden items. That's another one that gives you a, a score of 200,000. And yeah, what I'm doing right here is basically forming a wall up top just so I can gather some more points. Just doing it uh, to get some points here. So that kills them. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to drop down and get this all this stuff over here because those things look, uh, look at me super fireballs and I don't want that. I think I got everything. Yes, let's get in there. Ah, <clears throat> uh, room 20. Ah, one that I'm not going to die on. Uh, I should say, <laughs> I should say the only thing that will kill me on this one is time. Uh, you cannot place a brick where these Batman-like icons are. So, there's only certain spots where you can put them. And yeah, this one's just not too bad. You have difficulty, uh, well, it could be tricky because you kind of have to be on the edge of the block with certain certain jumps, but I got this one down pat. There's also, a uh, that was one hidden item. Oh, here's another hidden item. That's a Tecmo icon. The trick here is to place a brick over it when you see it. And not, bl and not break it with your wand, but instead your head. And then it turns to color, and what just happened there are two things. One, I got an extra life, and the other is my score increased by 500,000. There's only two items like that in the whole game. Uh, the other item is room 39, I think. No, room 38. This room, if you're familiar with the game Solomon's Key, this room may be like... You may be thinking, what in the world is this? This is a hidden room that's only available if you uh, have done certain things in the previous levels. It's a... Uh, it has a name, it's called the Page of Space. There's the Page of Space and uh, 
below this, below this platform here, all I have to do, by the way, is just go in the door at this point, but just below here, later on, uh, I'll be starting out and I'll be in the bottom half of this, hopefully, <laughs> if I don't uh, die before that, but yeah, I'll be in the bottom half having to get into the door and get the, get the page of time, it's called. Anyhow, if you're familiar with the game, you've maybe never even seen that board before because uh, you have to do a lot of uh, things to even get into that room, which isn't difficult to beat, but uh, seeing it, just seeing it is the difficult part. So, let's kill that guy. Nope, he didn't give me a bell. I have to be careful here. Let's make sure I have an isolated... <laughs> Any chess players here? That's an that's what we call an isolated block. All right. Um, how do I break these? I'm gonna run it like this. Drop that. Don't kill me. Yeah, they they can really just get in your way. It's fairies. Yeah, so just make sure we deal with. The fire, they're now taken out of the equation. There's a hidden seal. And that item, if I get it now, it will just hurt me. Because it will start my time at 5,000. Just looking to get across to the right. And then the coast is pretty much clear. Some items here. And that's everything. Let's get in the door. Okay, room 22, do I have any concerns? I do. I've died on this before. <laughs> I've died on every board. Okay. Let's get to higher ground. How do you get the key? Okay, now... Uh, let's put this up here, actually. That's aimed at making sure these uh, fairies don't get too out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, th this is very important what I'm doing right here. Oops. Which is to say, I'm building bricks to delay these salamanders. Because I don't want them to kill me. And I want to be able to drop down and then run like wild. And by the time they get here, they will no longer be an issue. Get over here. Yeah, you see, they're, before they even get to the rightmost bottom corner... Oh, I didn't mean to do that! <gasps> oh, man. That's not good. What just happened there? I was supposed to turn that into a bell and get another fairy. Oh, man. Not looking good. Ah, oh, man. It's not looking good for trying to get that 84. I'll, I'll have to make sure I uh, get some other bells to make up for it. That's a time, a very time sensitive drop there. I'm doing this just to make, to get that item, which is a paper crane. Gives you a 100,000 score. Ugh, man, that's bugging me now. Okay. There's another little trick. When you're on a brick, you could build one directly above it and still jump on it. Also, um, it's known in this game that certain boards can be impossible to complete. Notice if I put a brick right here and kept it there, what would happen if I dropped down on the left side? As soon as I dropped down here, I'd be absolutely trapped. Because when I dropped down there, I'd be stuck. So, this will be much more noticeable in later stages, where it's far more complex. And the order in which you place blocks, or just position blocks, uh, is super, super important. I think that's everything. Yeah, that last level, because I was talking. No, it's not a restart, by any means, because I could still uh, get plenty of... Fairies. Let's make sure I break that brick. 
And this one here. Okay. There's some hidden items here. Okay. Build a brick over that fire because I will need to cross. Here's a hidden bell. And that little dinosaur guy, he drops a fairy. I need to get these. And, uh, yeah. Trap these guys. There's one that's on the very bottom that's ready to wrap around and still get me. So let's make sure he is sealed off. Like so. Alright. There's only one more. Let's seal him off. Actually, I almost made another mistake. Okay, he's sealed off like that, actually. He's just going to run in circles. That's very important what I just did right there. Dropping the fire. Um, and putting a brick over it. Because as soon as I get a level below this guy, or I level with this guy, he shoots a fireball, and that fire he dropped would have caused me a problem. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Okay. Come on, man. Okay, I got everything in this one. <clears throat> so far, so good. This is another hidden room. Okay. So it's really the same story. If you've been here right from the start, you'll... This is just a very familiar board. As mentioned, 49 main ones. And then, uh... 15 hidden ones. This is one of the 15 hidden ones. Okay, I don't want to get that just yet. That again will set my time to 5,000. Currently have more. Don't want to get that yet. There's only one guy that could kill me. Let's take him out. Now there's only one thing that could kill me. The time. The clock! <laughs> and we know how it could be when it comes time with the clock. Living off of the increment, living off of the edge, I've got that down pat. <laughs> there we go. Hustle, man, hustle. Make sure I get my butt over here. There we go. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. You got this. <laughs> okay, what board is coming up next? 25. That's everything, right? Got it. Watch out for the clock situation. Room 25. Seems like we're halfway there, right? But the second half is... <laughs> oh, man. And I nearly died on room 3. It gets tricky. Oh, actually, there's a tricky part coming up with this one. I have to... This is... Uh, Similar to room 13, but with the twist, as we'll soon see. There's a, a certain timing that I have to have just right. And you have to hustle. Okay, right here is where you have to hustle. I have to break this brick once. As soon as they pass, I have to do a double jump like that because that guy was ready to kill me. Oh, oh he still blew fire like that. Even though I, I was up in the air, so he could have killed me if I didn't uh, shimmy myself to the left like that. 
That was another chalk it up. It's just another near death experience. <laughs> oh man, watch out for the near death experiences. Dana is living on the edge. Wow. <laughs> That's the name of the character, by the way, if you didn't know. This little character, Dana. He's living dangerously, that Dana. Woo! Make sure you break that brick in time. Brick, block, you know the drill. You know what I'm trying to say. Just some more hidden items. I'm doing this to get these items here. It's not necessary to get those blue items or anything like that. It's strictly for score. And I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, get as high a score as possible some items I may miss but uh, yeah trying get I'm trying to reveal all the uh, all the tricks with this game all right. first order business and this is the most glitchy of rooms in the game and uh, that will occur when you have these spawning item spawning enemies As you will soon see, uh, some interesting things are going to happen. Let me pause for a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is one super fireball that I do want to get. Because I will later use it on board 37. So, some, cra some interesting things are going to happen in this board. As soon as I get that uh, orange bottle, which kills all enemies. So... Okay, nothing too crazy actually happened just then. But uh, sometimes what will occur are items falling through the ceiling. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and we could, we could be seeing more of that soon. These uh, items may start falling from the sky. No, not too bad. It's a glitchy board. It's starting to blink a little bit. Right, it shouldn't be too bad now. Let's make sure I get the bell there, and the one over here. They put them in clever spots, don't they? Right where they're spawning. There's a thousand, or a hundred thousand, I should say. And pretty much have this one cleared. Uh, let me gather myself, because this next board, you have to act fast. Room 27, I have to take certain mental notes. 27, there's a, a wild eye, eyeball that comes comes at you, as you're going to see. So don't freeze up, computer. This isn't a good, uh, a good board to freeze up on. Hurry up, really quick, and section him off. This is all about uh, trapping these eyeballs. Let's make sure I do that successfully. Come over here, trap him so he doesn't wrap around. <clears throat> this is a strategic approach. I could try and uh, dodge these these things, jump over them and such, but I just want to trap them and then be done with them. So, so far three of the four are trapped. Just have to elude and or trap one more. This guy release him and then block him in. So this one's in the clear. There's just a couple other hidden things like the one up there and one other hidden item right here. Got everything. Room 28. Okay. <clears throat> I am a positional player, yes. Watch out for the trapped rook. <laughs> Alrighty. First things first. Yeah, you see, my controller was uh, sticking there. <clears throat> that brick that I put just below that black thing is very important. Um, I will need to work on the left side shortly. And it's very important that I put the brick right where I did. Similarly, this brick right here is necessary. Why exactly? Because, well, it's difficult to explain, but I need to break the bricks. Whenever there's a fire and there's two bricks below, directly below the fire, you'll need to break the, the bottom most brick, the, the second of 
those two bricks first. Um, probably doesn't make too much sense, but I'll try to illustrate my point. Oh, I see it was sticking again. Right, let's make sure he's not going to kill me. Yeah, this controller is not really treating me so well. Yeah. You see, this is one of the first bricks, the one that I'm on right now. It's one of the first ones that I did at the start of this board. Because I need to drop down here. I can't build a brick here to cross over to this brick right here. And uh, similarly, this other fire that I will be dropping soon. Now, what would have happened if the brick under this brick right here, the one that I just broke, the fire would have only... The fire would have gotten my way. The fire would be right here, and I wouldn't be able to build a brick to get across. And notice the order here. I'm getting the key, and then immediately getting in the door. Those positions of both key and door are switched when you are in room 48. And so what that basically means is that you have to work through the board again. Uh, you, ha you have more work ahead of you. It's not as simple as getting the key and then following a little bit more and simply getting in the unlocked door. Uh, yeah. So let's just get all the hidden items in this one. It's one of those hidden boards. needs to be turned into a bell. Making a uh, pretty good time, I think. Mmm! I almost just immediately jumped into that. That wouldn't have been good. Okay, so that's actually up pretty high. Can be able to make it all the way down. I'm not risking it. Especially when it's when you're on the bottom right and you have to go to the top left. It's a tough distance to cover. <clears throat> Whenever my time goes low, I'm just going to shoot right for that, uh, that timer. And... Let me just make sure. Did I already clear these out? Yeah. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> 29. Okay, this one's tricky. Uh, this one's gonna test... The brick building ability. I need to make sure I build blocks really well. Yes, you know, these enemies are being good to me in a way with dropping those bells. I've uh, already made up not getting two fairies earlier. Also, what I'm doing here is bad. <laughs> Let's get this item. Notice, uh, you have to get that item due to its location. You have to get that before you get the key. Otherwise, you're just not going to have, uh, you just can't get the item. So, order matters is what I'm trying to say. Also, you have to, uh, I mean, I could kill these ghosts with the fireballs that I have, but I want to reserve the fireballs for killing specific enemies. There's some hidden items on this same row is this little ghost character that's going back and forth. Still need to get that bell. And extend this platform a bit more. There's one more hidden item. Get this bell and make sure that that ghost doesn't kill me. And just 
want to make sure the timing is right. Okay. That one's tricky. <clears throat> that one took a while to uh, get right. The technique that I used there. This one here, there's a lot of items. It's, uh, it's important that you actually get the great majority of these, as otherwise you can't beat the board. You need to get these items, these blue jewels, because you need to eventually place blocks in their place. The goal here is to work yourself all the way up to get the key, row by row. Okay, so far, so good. Let's just get some points, just for fun. I think those other items, those bags with Roman numerals on them, two and one, they're going to disappear before I get to them, but that's no problem. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's keep going up. Way you have to do it. And uh, I'm making sure that I deal with these guys in sections. Uh, like right here. I want to break that brick because when I get towards the center, I just don't want to deal with them at all again. I just want them to go straight down to the bottom. Like that brick right there, if I don't break it, he's going to come at me. He's going to cross over. Hustle. Timing. It's a big thing. And okay. Almost there on this one. Alright. Timing. Brick. Jump up. Break that one. And also, notice what I did right there. I've trapped those spawning enemies that are on the top right. So they're only going to stay in those, in that one little area. They can't bother me anymore. He's just going to drop down and fall there, so he won't be a bother. That's a 200k item. And this one is clear. How are we looking for room 31? Okay, room 31. Yeah. Alright. The mistakes I've made before on this board was simply getting an item that I shouldn't have. Like this one right here. Nope. Don't get that item. I just want to reveal it. Golden Wings. That's one of the items when you get it. And you complete this board, that means you are able to skip ahead by six rooms. Okay, I just had to calculate there to make sure I break these bricks in the correct way. So these spawning enemies from up top do not drop down and hurt me. So I'll be trying to trap these. I will trap them like this. So these top right spawning enemies won't be a bother now. That's a hidden item. And also that brick that I placed right here, that's one of the first things I did and I did that. So the fire wouldn't hurt me. That item is a Sphinx, which gave me uh, uh, 500,000. Um, I think around the best you could do with this game, if you are to beat it without dying, even once, the highest score you could really get is close to 9 million. I've never quite gotten there. Think I've done everything here? Yes. Yeah, I've never gotten 9 million, but I've, I've been very close to it, like an 8.9 million. And that's, again, without dying once. Okay, room 32. I actually have to uh, be very alert here right at the beginning and drop down very fast, break this brick, and get over here. <laughs> this brick I'm putting here is very important. I'll need to step on that brick eventually. And I have to run right. Make sure I get that bell. 
And so far, so good here. I really have to... I'm probably going to have to stop uh, commentating. Uh, at certain points, I'm really going to end up having to go quiet because it's very demanding on my concentration. Certain boards. And there's a lot to do on certain boards in this uh, limited time, <laughs> of course. Uh, there's an item just above that brick that I need to get. Cannot forget that. Okay, so far so good. Putting that brick just to my right like that because I'll uh, want to kind of... I'm going to hide from an enemy soon. Let's kill that guy. No dice on the bell situation. Okay. Hide. Here's another hidden item that he's going to reveal. And that fairy is being a pest. I want to be able to kill that guy. But uh, the fairy is causing a problem. This is no good. Come on. Oh, I'm going to have to do something dangerous, I think. <laughs> I know that probably sounds ridiculous to those watching that aren't familiar with the game, but that was a bit risky. A bit too risky for my taste. <laughs> Usually I'm just able to... The fairy isn't being a troll, and I'm just able to blaze that guy real quick. Just take him right out. Not that time, though. All right, this one is in the clear. Boom. Hmm, <sighs> that was dangerous. All right, we got another hidden level. Which seems fun, but it's actually still a bit stressful. <laughs> you have to hurry and remain disciplined. Okay, we revealed that timer. Nice to know where it is very early. Sometime your time could get way down. And, uh... Yeah, you still you still don't know where that item is. And I believe it's imperative that you get those, otherwise you won't have enough time to actually clear the whole board. You need every you really need every second for these rooms here. That's why that's why getting an 84 is so difficult because these fun rooms they're actually pretty serious rooms if your goal is to get the the maximum GDV of an 84. Oh, I didn't want to drop down. Crap. Okay. You have to improvise, Dana. <laughs> Who else is saying this right now? You have to improvise, Dana. I've got to be the only one. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. My time's running low. I hear it. That's your little reminder. They changed the... They changed the little background song. Okay, I can get that now. Alright, that wasn't so bad. What room we have next? 33. Okay, 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 okay. First things first, get the bell. Before you unlock the door, there's a few hidden items right here. One, two, three. Make sure that guy doesn't kill me. These enemies could sometimes be glitchy. I have to be very accurate with how I place the bricks here. Basically trapping them so I can work down on these two columns. One wrong brick, and you're in some serious trouble. Okay, they are trapped. I am down here getting the key now successfully. Simple objective, right? Get the key and get in the door. But how to do it <laughs> with certain boards is tricky.
I'm always a bit uh, nervous that those uh, enemies will go right through one of the blocks that I make because I've had that happen before. It's uh, one of those glitches that occurs. <laughs> That's not cool at all, but uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Room 34. Be quick here. Okay. So they're going to reveal a key. I need to concentrate here. Here, here, and now I should be able to drop down and get everything I need. Yes. Okay, 35 is another glitchy room because of uh, spawning enemies. I've seen some very interesting, not cool things happen on this room. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, this also might be the first room where I don't get one particular hidden item, but that's okay. First things first. Redirect those spawning skeleton guys. And do similar over here. There's some symmetry going on. The left and right side of this board. Okay, now they're basically taken care of. Now I have to work up the middle. You know, what's nice about this one, this shouldn't be too big of an issue time-wise on this board because of that item in the middle, that light blue item. I want to kill this guy. Yeah, take him out and take the one above him out. I'll get that guy now, that item now. And I want to kill this guy up here. fires out of the way. And let's clear these. See, you probably didn't notice it, but one of those, that guy below me, that guy that's going back and forth just below me here, he glitched. He actually went through one of these gray bricks. Not cool. <laughs> There's a, an extra life. It's glitching a little bit. Any, any board with these spawning guys. see here for a moment. Hang on. Okay. Had to think here for a second. There's a lot of calculation that goes on uh, in these boards. I'm, yeah, it's, it's a lot of redirection and anticipating how uh, enemy, where enemies are going to be. If I put one brick in the wrong spot, I could be having to deal with an enemy. Like, I have to make sure I break that, in other words, so that they're dropping down and no bother to me anymore. Okay. Like this. This is a very delicate part right here. Alright, so far so good. I don't have much time, but it will be enough. A little timing here, run real quick. There's a hidden item that I want to reveal quickly. That, and this is the one that I may not get. You have one shot to get it. No, nope, I didn't get it. Okay. There's actually one just to the left in that other brick thought that that might happen. That's that's the most difficult item to get. Because you can only drop down once to try and get it. Trying to do it again, you can't do it because the door's already open. Okay. Room 36. Let's take care of this guy. Right away. Just don't want to deal with him. And these guys. Take them out of the equation. There is a... You actually have to jump over enemies in this one. Unfortunately. I don't like to do that. 
but it has to be done in certain boards. Mm, timing's not there. I want to get rid of that guy. Also, when he sees you, he runs after you faster. There you go. So, let me get the timing right with this one. I think you... Five of them spawn... There's a group of five that come out really fast. One, no. Nope. One, no. Nope. I think it's the next time. One, no. I have to hurry up. One, one. Why are they not coming out? This isn't good. I gotta go. Now they're gonna come out. Yeah, right. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five. I have to go after this fifth one. I have to go now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. All right, I got the timer. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> oh, man. It's a dangerous game I'm playing. A very dangerous game. Oh, my God. Really? You had to... Five of you had a spawn right when I was there? You really had to do that? <laughs> oh, man. Wait a second. Did I forget anything? Okay, yeah, actually... There's these items here. <laughs> All right. Not bad, not bad. We got this. We got this. No sweat. Watch what I do to these guys. You ready? Boom! Showed them. <laughs> the old Traparuski. Alright, two more little hidden ones. And we're, we're in the clear here. Got everything? It's all checking out. <clears throat> Alright, a hidden, a hidden room. Regroup. Don't get that item. Not just yet. Be the very, one of the very last ones. Hustle. That's what you want to do, is hustle. Clear the board out fast. Go up on the left, come down on the right. Don't let that guy kill you. Get those items soon. First things first. Clear out the left half. <clears throat> Making good time on this board. Again, the very perimeter of these boards reveal no uh, hidden items, so that's why I'm not even bothering to break them. This is the first hidden room like this that I've made excellent time. And also this timer is in an excellent spot. just gather myself for this next room. It's not going to be a problem. Okay. This is very important. These next rooms, not the very next one, but the ones after, I have to really concentrate. Um, there's enemies that come flying right at you right in the beginning. This one is not a problem. And this one is actually one the one room where I'm going to use this f super fireball. Hopefully I get some bells, that would be great. I'll take one of them. One bell dropped. Bells uh, produce a fairy through the door. You're just tuning in. And collecting these are very important for getting that 84. Um, I know I uh, basically did this board by killing those enemies, but it's actually not so bad a board, even 
working up, uh, building bricks along the right hand side to get to the door. It's not much of a problem, I'm just killing them. <clears throat> I want to get those bells. So, just hang on a moment. Room 38 is next. This is 37, 38. Okay, I have to really hustle in this one. This is a, a very, very important one to uh, gather fairies. <laughs> You'll see. Okay, that was very important. I needed to get that fireball before anything else, and I put a brick in its place. Yeah, I really have to just be quiet with this board. There's a lot to do. Oh my god, that was too close. <laughs> oh, that's just closer than I would have liked. But he just barely snuck away. Dana does it again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this bell, make sure you get it right now, or you won't be able to put a brick there later. You know what I mean? Alright, hustle. Hustle! You got a lot of work to do. And this is really one where you have to hustle, because there's going to be spawning enemies. If you don't hustle now, you're going to have to deal with several, several, several enemies later. Yeah, I really have to focus here. I can't commentate. Here's a hidden item. That's the other Tecmo. I'm going to break this with my head. 500,000 and then one up. <laughs> Some of these jumps are very delicate. That was one of them. I need to break this brick so I could break the fire and then get across. Okay, good. Just in time. Get over here quick. Mm. Okay, now it's a little bit of a waiting game is all. These fireballs that I now have, what I'm going to try and do is knock out two birds with one stone. Two enemies with one stone here. Uh, these are one of the one of the enemies who have who has the potential to drop a bell. It'll either be a bag of money, these green bags of money, or bells. I'm hoping for some bells here, and uh, I'm gonna let some more spawn. Okay, here we go. Let's take him out. No luck with getting a bell just yet. Let's kill these two hopefully in one shot. Nope. Yes, I got a bell. Let's kill him. Two bells. Let's just make sure I can collect the fairies. Got them both. That's really good. I don't think I'm going to have any issue with uh, bell collection slash fairy collection. So I think the main thing is really going to be not getting killed. Another bell. Plenty of the items that I need I am getting. Get over here. There we go. Don't spawn. <laughs> I've had that happen before. <laughs> okay, let's focus here. I don't have any fireballs. And this one, this room right here, I need to focus. Yeah, I really need to shut up and focus on this one, as you'll see. Okay, there's just a lot of stuff going on right now on this board. Very difficult to commentate. And a lot of stuff to do. <gasps> I didn't drop down. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hopefully you go left. No. The reason why I was building those bricks like that is because sometimes he goes left, this Mighty Bomb Jack character, and sometimes he goes right. If he went right and I didn't build those bricks like I did, he'd go all the way down to the bottom, and eventually he disappears. Uh, and I wouldn't be able to get him in time. But 
I should be able to get him in time now. And he magically turns all enemies and fire if there's fire into these fairies. So now this board is in the clear pretty much. Just some other minor things to make sure of. Like getting this item and this item here prior to getting the key. Because otherwise I would have already been through the door at that point. So let's just make sure I clear out these fairies. And then I'm able to get the key and get in the door. Yeah, this was this is one of those boards where it's very, very demanding on my concentration. Um, you have to be very quick. It's a, a very a, a time-sensitive board. And let's not get this item here. That's the last wings. I don't want to skip ahead six levels. And here's one more board coming up that right in the beginning a wild eyeball comes flying right at you. So I have to do this and trap him. Now he's just going to go in circles due to that brick positioned exactly how I have it. Okay. Jump over him. little timing there, putting two bricks just above these fire guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know how loud it gets, but yeah. Okay, these first, uh, these three middle columns are pretty much safe ground. have to work my way all the way up along this uh, right side. Not get in the door yet. Because there's one other item here. By no means necessary to get the 84, but I'm trying to get everything this game. Got everything? Yes. Okay. Um, what room is next? Oh, a hidden room. I think this is the page... No, it's not the other page of time room, so... All right. Won't be too many more of these boards, just one or two. This is very exhausting. I didn't realize this was going to be so exhausting. This is uh, very exhausting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I think this is going to be my best shot at getting uh, my objective. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Those. Not get that just yet. Okay, uh, what board is next? Trying to think, what board is next? Oh, um... Oh, this one. I have to be quick with this one, too. This is another board where enemies come flying right at you in the beginning. To break that brick, 
and then jump over those guys. <laughs> uh, okay. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. And then work your way up. Now, here's a little trick with this game. It's very important to walk into this door, not jump into it. Walking into this door allows me to start the next room by jumping directly up at the very beginning of the level. Also, let me point out that there is a... Uh, re like a I have it paused for a moment just to say something. Um... This is right around the point, those those that are familiar with this game, this is where it's tricky. This is room 41. There's a, a restart code where you when you press up and A, B at the same time, you get an extra three lives. Like once you've spent all your lives, you've gone to zero. Up plus A, B at the game over screen will allow you to start with three new lives. However, uh, start you start you with three new lives and you start at the the room you left off at however uh, part of what makes this game so difficult is that when you're at room 41 you you can't restart like when you do that up a B you once you spent all your lives you have to restart at that very level that I just did room 41 so in summary these if you only have three lives at room 41 you have to beat the rest of the game with just three lives and that that's part of what makes this game very very difficult like I could be on room 47 after I've exhausted all my lives when I use that reset code it starts you back to room 41 you have to do them all over again so what I'm doing right now is holding up on my keypad or on my my controllers d-pad that allows me to jump right at the very beginning and break two very important bricks because those were bricks right under the fire and being able to doing that previous level like I did and being able to then uh, jump up at the start of this one makes this one a piece of cake because I'm already completed with this one and yeah so this is 42 in room 43 this next one is usually the one that uh, is regarded as the absolute most difficult room in Solomon's Key. So let me shut up and work on it. <laughs> I really can't commentate with this one. There's a lot that I need to do. One, two, three. Need to change the pattern of those guys. It'll be very timely here. Okay. Phase one pretty much in the books, but we are far away from being done because there's a hidden item that I need to get. Well, I don't need to, but I'm trying to get everything. Come on, man. Thank you. This is the hidden item I'm talking about, so I have to go back down. Notice because of how I arrange those upper blocks, those salamanders are not an issue at all for me when I'm revisiting this lower level. I don't have to get that timer thing.
Come on, man. See, they could just get in the way. Cause you more harm than anything. Okay, we're on the home stretch here. Room 43 is a monster. Notice the time, too, right? They don't give you very much time. Oh, that's very difficult. That's a very, very difficult board. And those of you that have the first-hand experience with that board, you, you, could, you could relate. Okay, this is strictly a puzzle board. These bricks that I'm breaking are all highly significant. It's very important that I break the bricks that I just broke right there. It's very difficult to explain why exactly, because it's uh, it's deep. Um, it's not really revealed. It's like, a, <laughs> uh, I don't know, like for the chess players tuned in, it's like a seven move combination. <laughs> Um, but, uh, okay, I have to really concentrate. It's, uh, I have to have certain blocks in exact positions with this one. Okay. So far, so good. Coming up here, I need a very important brick block. Right here is an important one. Because when I drop that fire, I want it to drop down, but not too far. <laughs> Very delicate. Certain fires, like that one right there, they go away. It's the blue ones that remain. I'm just going to trap that fairy for now and get, get it later. I know I didn't die yet, <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of um, these fires, the enemies, I can assure you, they kill you. <laughs> uh, I've just uh, been lucky in many cases to avoid them. So. The home stretch. There's only one thing that could kill me next the fire. Don't let that happen. Okay. Whew. Alrighty. This is the uh, page of time. It's tricky. But once you know the trick, it's, it's easy peasy. Notice that brick breaks. And that one doesn't. The trick here is to build a brick right where the door is, and now it gives you a special power where you could break that brick. And notice if that brick was not broken, you'd fall in here and then be stuck. You'd be on a brick right here, and you couldn't get out. Anyhow. Another one in the books. We are approaching the end here. I mean, this is room 49, or 45, excuse me. Let's stay focused here. Some hidden items. These guys I want to kill with exactly one fireball, so I want to allow them to merge. No luck with them dropping a bell. Okay. Uh, the order. Um, I know in chess I talk a lot about move order. You know, are you considering two moves deep? Do you do uh, move A and then B, or B and then A? The order in which you do certain things in this game is is very important. <laughs> Especially with these higher level boards. Like I want to let those guys escape and then come over here, drop them down, and then I can make my way up like so.
some hidden items. We haven't seen the key yet. That's because it's hidden in that rightmost brick. And yeah, let's just not deal with those spawning enemies anymore, so put a brick right under them. Okay, um, if you're familiar with this game and you've made it past level 43, you have another tough one on your hands, and that is room 46. And once again, we're noticing a common enemy between room, with room 43 and 46, it's these fire-breathing salamanders. So I'm going to work my way up the right. There's a hidden item that gives you 500,000 and an extra life. There's another 100,000, and this item here is important to get. It's best, it's best to get that before you get the key, otherwise you're going to have a problem. I wanted to kill that enemy because he uh, produces a fairy. And now I want to work my way uh, over to the leftmost side of this room um, and be delicate with how I do that to avoid these salamanders that there is some pattern to. You have to be really quick with building bricks and then making sure to break them so they don't land on them and then kill you. this guy here. Let's see. Now this is going to be very delicate right here. My computer better not freeze up. Was very close. <sighs> that one was really, really, really close. <clears throat> really, really, really close. This is right around the point where my hands are starting to get a little sweaty. <laughs> Can anybody relate? <laughs> I'll have to hustle in this one. That needs to be broken. I need to get down here as soon as possible. That's a very important brick. That's way too difficult for me to explain right now. Why? What, what the significance is of having that brick right where it is. Order is in incredibly important with this level here. This brick has a great significance that I just put right there. This is the one item in the game that is worth exactly one million. If you don't get it on your first attempt at a level, it's gone forever. If I if I died on this room and didn't get that item already, it wouldn't wouldn't appear again. It's a 
Hang on. <laughs> that was way too scary. Um, now... I mean, I know how to beat the board, but it's just I want to make sure these fairies, I could get maybe one of the two. They're tricky. Come on, give me one at least. Okay, maybe the other one I could get from bottom. Come on down bottom. Please. There you go. Come over here. Yes. Whew. Okay. This is room 48. Another strictly puzzle game. No... a puzzle room. Need to have that brick in the bottom right. Certain uh, significant bricks coming up. Right here is an incredibly important brick that I just put right there. I'll uh, try to remember to explain later. I have to focus, though, right now. I'll have two attempts at trying to get that hidden item. Nope, didn't get it on the first try. Also, there's not just that item, but one more. Once I'm able to, if I get that one, there's another one that's worth 200,000. So, I referenced this in the uh, video leading up to, you know, the notice that I gave out. There's a couple items I may not get on room 35 and 48. These are the items I'm referring to. Because you kind of, you have to fall. And you only you kind of only have one or two shots at it. You, that brick is significant. Here's another significant one coming up right here. I'll need to step on that. And this was one of the earliest points I was saying that this brick right here above my head was significant. Notice if it wasn't there, the fire would be right where I'm at, and I need to cross here. So, I got this one. The only question is, can I get those hidden items? Let's make sure I get that, at least. Nope. Couldn't get that one. Oh, well. Alright, um, here's a hidden room. A couple of hidden rooms, and then the f absolute final room is coming up. I think that's all, that right there is the 150th fairy that I've gotten. So I think I should be good. Question is, can I just beat the rest of these boards, really the final board, without dying? Wouldn't it be terrible if I died on this board? <laughs> Let's take care of this guy. That way the only thing that could kill me is time. Get out of there, boy. All right. I'm not making very good time on this stage. Not at all. I don't even like hearing that sound. Makes me nervous. <laughs> How about you? How about you? You get nervous? 
No, you get to sit back, relax, and eat some popcorn. Lucky you. <laughs> Here's another thing that makes this game difficult. Even though, even if I got a fireball, if I turn that into a fireball and got it, I'm gonna get it, get that item, which gives me points. Fireballs at this point are insignificant. Even if you have eight fireballs going into the very final room, then it doesn't matter. They take them away. You have to beat the final board with no fireballs. And the little trick with this board, who may, maybe many of you have not seen, it's Princess Room, you need to lower the fire just like I did before you break that brick that it is on. And you have to do the same with the other fire. And this will, this gives you magic powers where you can then break certain gray bricks that will eventually lead you to the princess who is inside. Lowered it, and then I break it. So this, though, doing those two things to the fires allows me to break that brick right there. And there's one other trick. This brick doesn't break until... I create a brick here, or at least try to break, build a brick right there. And then I can finally get in. This is very nerve-wracking because this is the absolute last board right here. This is called Solomon. <coughs> I need to shut up. Okay. This is very nervous. I think I maybe need to commentate just to calm my nerves. If my controller and computer does not glitch up, I have this. I got it. I got it. Here it is. Here it is. Boom! Oh, first attempt. Am I bragging now? I just, I, I can brag though. I can. Is that possible? I'm pretty sure I got the 84 as well. We'll have to confirm that. Whoa. Oh, I'm glad I was able to do it because it's a very, very exhausting game. <laughs> Uh, let's see. At the very end, there should be a game over screen. And then it'll say your GDV is. So let's see. This, these are the kind of endings, if you're unfamiliar. This, these are the fantastic endings you encounter when you beat uh, an NES game. And uh, it's such a cool ending that they, uh, <laughs> they even, there's a, a misspelling with the little words that they use. So let's see, I'm pretty sure I got uh, enough with the bells to get the 84. Let's see, can you find the typo? All I have to do is hit one button here, and then it'll show my GDV. If it says an 83, I have no idea how I'm going to react. <laughs> you see the typo? It says, fairies were released and flew around the world. The power of Solomon's key sealed away all of the evil spirits and the constellation was ruined. Peace will be ours is forever. Oh, you are apostrophe S. <laughs> all right, here it is. Your game deviation value, it better say 84, not an 83. Ready, set, go. Yes! There it is! This is a very difficult number to get, 84. Objective complete on attempt number one. <laughs> Whew, I'm glad. I'm not dreaming, am I? Did I really just do that? I mean, I've done it before, don't get me wrong. I've, I've beaten the game before without dying and getting an 84, but I had no idea how it would be on stream with commentating 
I was really nervous. <laughs> I don't know if you were uh, hearing it in my voice for that final board, but I was very nervous. <laughs> oh, man.